Morning guys, welcome to Coffee Chat. Mm, mm, mm. Wow guys, I'll tell you what, what an absolutely gorgeous morning it is. And I'll tell you, I truly love coming out here and sitting down and enjoying my time with you. Do you know, before I actually get on and record these, I'm looking at, you know, articles and videos and stuff like that and just kind of chilling and relaxing and things like that. And then I save my very first sips for you. I'll tell you what, right there, you know, before I even, you know, get out and do that because I want us to enjoy it together and it makes my day to come out and do it. I'll tell you what, right there now. Mm-hmm. So guys, I want to throw something out there. Judy has, you know, encouraged me, said, hey, listen, let's try and get a thousand likes for every video that we do because we get thousands of views, which is really amazing. But guys, it's the likes. If you guys can hit the likes, it causes the algorithm to push this information way out there so a lot more people get to see it. And I'll tell you, do we ever need to bring people up to speed? That's for sure. Guys, another big deal for us is we are on X. And guys, if you want to look us up on X, look up Digital Outlook 3. And you're going to see Digital Outlook there with our blue check mark and all that kind of stuff. Guys, go out and subscribe to us and, and see what we're putting out on X because we're putting different information out on X than we always do, than we ever do on the channel sometimes. And I'll tell you what, it is a platform that we have just gotten used to. Like, we didn't even know how to use X and now we're learning how to do it. It is truly fabulous to get out there, but we are definitely on X now. So if you are, you're on Twitter, you're on X, you can go find us Digital Outlook 3 and right there and subscribe to us on there. Now, guys, what I want to talk about today, wow, is this an indicator of how massive this space is going to be in the future? And guys, a lot of news is going around right now and you got the IRS coming out and they're doing this big market media campaign. I shouldn't say marketing campaign, but more like a media campaign about this digital asset space because something big is coming next year. Next year, the IRS is requiring all of these exchanges, the Coinbase's, the Kraken's, the Uphold, and all of them out there to issue 1099s. They're going to be called 1099 DAs for digital assets. And of course, you know, you got all these other ones like Elizabeth Warren, and then they say, oh, you're a bunch of tax cheaters, this and that, and on and on and on, and stuff like that, you know, about us. Because the IRS is out there, and what they're really saying is, hey, they probably missed out on billions of dollars worth of taxation in this digital asset based space because people haven't reported you know their cost bases their gains and all this so now they're going to come out there and require all of the exchanges and brokerages to issue these 1099s but guys i want you to think about this wow mm-hmm because I know there's a lot of people in this space, they don't believe it. They don't even like taxes. They don't believe the government. Ha and I get it. Oh boy, do I ever get it. We want a fair and just tax system that's fair and just for all. And I don't think very many of us believe that we've got that now, no matter what side of the aisle we're on. But the thing is this, guys, what an indicator about the adoption of this space. Now, think about this. The IRS could have done this years ago. They could have made this requirement years ago, but they didn't. Guys, what do you think they think is coming down the road here in 2025? Because I'll tell you what, for a lot of us, I believe personally as well, we are going to, 2025 is going to be a banger year. I legitimately believe that. And the way I kind of look at it, the government is just wanting to get in there and get their little piece of the pie, you know what I mean? And it tells me, guys, that now that they, they tried everything they could to kibosh it completely, going after the exchanges, all that, trying to run them out of business and this and that, well, I guess if you can't beat them, you join them, right? Now they're going to have them do 1099s. It's legitimizing the entire space, guys. It's legitimizing the entire space in a big, big way. And just like traditional brokerages and stocks and things like that, it's being legitimized. And guys, don't you think that they don't know that this space is going to see some major appreciation? I genuinely believe it. And that's why they're throwing it out there for 2025. It is coming. Now, we've had the report uh, you know, self-assessing system report, all this and this and that before. Yeah, it's been there, but they haven't put down. And of course, apparently the, 
narrative is they're going to go back and do all these audits and everything like that. Now, Judy and I, we have from day one kept a good track of all of our transactions and things like that. And guys, if it's something that you you know maybe haven't done or whatever, you can easily do it. You can get on Coinly and spell K-O-I-N-L-Y dot I-O. And guys, they can actually, through some API integration, and they tell you, they give you the walkthrough to do it, connect all your various exchanges and everything like that to their system and be able to automatically pull that information in and pump out a report for you and stuff like that. So that the, the, the technology is available for you and I to go back and do it if we had to do it. We've done it from day one kind of thing because the last thing we needed, I'm gonna tell you right now, is look after a couple of years and you see the gate and hear that knock on the door, ding, ding, ding. And I'll tell you, you, the nightmare that they bring into your life, it's just not worth it. And for me, I'll tell you, I'll give you an example like this. <laughs> hmm. I was saying to one guy one time, I, I threw this out there. I said, hey, that's and such. If I gave you a million dollars, but the you but there was one caveat, you know, you had to give me like two hundred grand back, something like that. Would you take the money? The guy was sitting there thinking about it. I said, "Come on, you're getting eight hundred thousand dollars, you know, and it's not going to be it." And and that's the way I kind of look at it, guys. The fact of the matter is. You know, we're not going to get out from under it. Now, I know a lot of people think, hey, this whole tax system is not even legit, this and this, that. I get that. But the bottom line is this. They can enforce it whether we like it or not, can't they? And that's the kind of the world's golden rule. He who holds the gold makes the rules. And that's kind of how I look at it, just as simple as that. But I'll tell you what, to me, wow, does this ever talk about legitimization in a big, big way and what these guys expect to see happen in the future. They know they're moving us into this digital asset space. And I'll tell you what, no matter where you are in the wide world, most cases, and now there are some great jurisdictions like out there in Dubai and different places where there are no taxation. And maybe, hey, if you're in that situation, you might want to consider that. But if you're going to be here in the good old US of A, my guess is that we're all going to be subject to it one way or another. So I'll tell you what, I'm getting ahead of the game. I've been ahead of the game. I'll tell you right there. Wow. Mm-hmm. Guys, you just got to see what's happening down the road. And this is such a strong indicator for me. It just makes me feel so much more bullish about this space in a powerful way because they're starting to show all the infrastructure that's needed to legitimize this space. It tells you everything, as far as I'm concerned, that you need to know about where we're going. Absolutely, that they are looking at this space that way, that they're going to actually lay this infrastructure down for all this reporting and things like that. You had better believe it's gonna be like the traditional system, guys. It may even have its own indices for all we know once all the dust settles, but you watch the legislation and the clarity that's gonna come over this next year, in my mind, it's going to be absolutely massive. Massive, massive, massive. I think FIT 21, Financial Innovation and Technology for the 21st Century Act is gonna get full, hardcore approval. And guys, it's going to define this digital asset space. And they may come out with a regulatory body that's not the CFTC, not the SEC, but could very well be in and of itself a new regulatory body. And that's where I think that we can literally see a digital asset indices similar to what the NASDAQ is and stuff like that, where these things are now all on these big time, you know, exchanges, stuff like that, like, and, and have its own indices. And it's really going to show something. Now think about it in this way. You got the derivatives market and you got Larry Fink talking about the tokenization of securities, real world asset tokenization, David Swartz and Brad Garlinghouse right there throwing that down. And we're watching it happen. I mean, treasury bills, get that. Treasury bills, US treasury bills are now tokenized on the XRP ledger. Wow, does that ever speak volumes? I'll tell you right there. And guys, the whole wide world is moving in this direction. So it's no surprise that you got, you know, the, the, the taxation bureaus of all these countries throwing down new policies, new, you know, uh, procedures, I guess, or implementation to throw it out there. But boy, what a tell that is about where we're going. Yep, right there. Mm -hmm. It is going to be major, major, major now. Guys, 
It is Friday, of course, and Friday is the weekends. And I sure hope that you're going to get some time with your friends and family this weekend. Saturday, we're going to come out and do our question and answer. Now, last Saturday, wow, did we ever have an amazing one with Bersan Algera as our guest and things like that. And we've got some great questions for this Saturday. I'm going to get to them and do the very best I can getting those answers out. And, of course, we've got Sugar on Sunday. Really absolutely amazing nuggets of encouragement that we get out and share with you. Guys, I hope to see you there. But until later on today, when we have an amazing video for you, have a great one, guys, and take care.